What's up you guys, my name is Hutch, I make videos, put them on the internet, and why should today be any different? Today is another day that I have decided to wake up in the morning, make a video, and then place it on the internet. No joke, I was actually thinking last night I would want to put on my headstone, my name was Hutch, and I made videos and put them on the internet. We'll see, uh, we'll see if that works out, I doubt my family would be cool with that. But, hey, I'm the one who fucking died, so don't I get to make the call? Listen, anytime I get on a plane, I'm immediately confronted with my mortality. So, if things get a little morbid this commentary, you're just gonna have to deal with it, okay? Because I stared death directly in the face this week. Twice. The reason I was on a plane this week is because, uh, the wonderful folks at Treyarch were kind enough to invite me down to play some of the new maps early. Um, actually, no, to play all the new maps early. Played them all. Got footage of them all. Can't show you all of them today, but I do have, uh, every single map and zombies, uh, footage for you guys to be rolled out in the next few days. What I can show you guys is footage from this particular map, which is called Gauntlet, by the way. Really cool map. This was probably my favorite of the four we played. If I had to absolutely pick one, this one would probably be my favorite. There's something interesting about this map if you guys hadn't already noticed what was going on. It's a three lane map and on one lane it is a, uh, a rainy urban like open street area. Uh, it's real tight quarters but it is super open, there's not a lot of cover. In the middle, which is the area that I'm in right now, it's a snowy area where there's like a little bit more cover but it's still super open. And then on the other side you have a jungle terrain area which is probably the most closed off area of the map but which isn't to say that it's not an open part of the map it's still super open you're not going to see some like incredible mothership wraith raps gameplay for me this session whenever you go to these capture events it's always stacked with youtubers who know what they're doing and the competition is a little tight but that isn't to say that I didn't hold my own. I feel like I did fine against these guys. But they're all like a super gr good group of players. Uh, and it's just kind of like a super fun group in general. They always do a good job of picking like really super nice, fun to hang out with people to come to these things. Back to what we were talking about before. I think when it comes to Treyarch DLC, they've always done a really phenomenal job. Uh, th if I'm not mistaken, they were the first to introduce a new gun. The first ever new gun in a Call of Duty, I think, was the Peacekeeper. That's the first time they ever added a gun uh, after the game was launched. And uh, they've just been setting like good trends for the series when it came to DLC pretty much since day one. Their maps are always phenomenal. Like Stadium, I remember Stadium from Black Ops 1 being one of my favorite maps in the game and it was a DLC map. My mind also goes to Grind from Black Ops 2 and then also you had some really interesting fun remakes in Black Ops 2 as well when they brought back Summit and Firing Range. Uh, for this DLC pack, the remake that they brought back was Skyjacked. It used to be Hijacked in Black Ops 2, which is like one of the fan favorites. I don't have any footage to show you of that uh, today, but I will uh, in the next few days here, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And that's all I got for you guys today. I just wanted to show you guys a quick little peek at this map that's coming out uh, in just a few days here. I really dig that Treyarch is doing weird stuff. I think of Infection with the vanilla launch of the game, like with all the maps that came with it, the with the one with Carantan going up the side. If you, if you, I'm curious, do you guys like the weirdness of the Treyarch maps, of this new kind of philosophy when it comes to map design? I really do. I think it brings a lot to the, the game and it makes me feel... Um, I don't know, it just makes me feel different. It's just a whole new take on it. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye. Snipers down. Move up. Enemy down. 